I'm Dr Kelly Lee, Executive Director of Science for Wildlife and we're here in Kenangaboy National Park today where we've been studying koalas for a few years now under our Blue Mountains Koala Project. Finding them is the biggest challenge and so that's why we're here today with Deb from Wildlife Drones. So once we do find them there's also a real challenge in keeping track of them. Since the fires they've just shot up or down into the really steep gullies, they're moving, their home ranges are much much bigger and there's days we just can't get to them um, and you can spend, you know, some sites I originally thought, oh, we can tag, you know, 20 koalas and track them weekly. Like, we can spend a full day tracking one koala here. Um, and on some days it's just too steep to be safe. And so that's why we're really interested in the drone technology. Um, that will get us, you know, data that's location data so we can still get home ranges if we can't get the other data. Um, we have tried GPS collars here, but because we've had really high rainfall, we've actually seen some collar rub in our koalas. So the, the system for us is, you know, using a little ear tag or an anklet and then using the drone to get the location. Donna. I'm Victoria, I'm the research scientist at Science for Wildlife. For my PhD I was flying drones over a floodplain, um, so it was like, you know, flat, very easy. You can see the drone, you know, maybe like a kilometre, a kilometre and a half away, but obviously here it's like dense forest, um, you have to really find high points. I don't actually do the manual radio tracking where you walk around on the ground, I'm just going to be doing the drones. So I hope that I can make it a lot easier for the staff or the volunteers on the ground. So sometimes at Koala, they just can't get to it. Maybe it's too big a walk in or the gully is too steep. Sometimes the koalas can go off, you know, they'll be near a cliff and obviously like you just can't send people there. So I really hope I make everyone else's life a bit easier um, and get the tricky koala so they can just focus on the easier to track ones. We're finding it really difficult to get regular data on the koalas and so for us the wildlife drones tracking system is a great solution.